Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a quick impact intro animation inside of Film Express. So let's take a look at the preview and get started. So here I am inside Film Express, and uh, these are all the assets. The link will be in the description. You got to download these and import them inside it Film, uh, except the logo. You just have to use your own logo for this. And uh, we're going to start off by creating a new composite shot. Let's call this main. And for the duration, this animation will be around 6 seconds long, 90, 20, 10, 80, 30 FPS. Click on OK. And the next thing we're going to do is drag in our background into this composite shot. Then we can just drag in our logo inside this comp as well. Now what you can do is you can create a composite shot out of your logo. So let's right click on and click on make composite shot. And let's call this logo placeholder. I can click on OK. And we have our logo placeholder comp over here. Inside this comp, you can easily drag and drop your logos if you want to change them real quick. And yeah, let's go back to your main comp. And uh, what we're going to do next is create a new composite chart. And I'm going to call this logo texture. And uh, this will be 1920-1080. Click on OK. I'm going to place logo placeholder comp inside this comp. And now you'll just bring the logo texture put it under that layer and you can just go to transform and scale it down like so. Now what you can do is toggle off the layer visibility on logo placeholder and on the logo texture layer we will apply the set matte effect. So search for set matte, apply it. Now we can select the source layer to logo placeholder and you can set the blend to subtract and click on the invert option. Now you can just go to the logo textures scale property and play around with the values over here and you can move around to get nice textures from different areas. Just make sure you don't go too far, otherwise it will crop your logo. You can also add a little bit of um, color correction to this, such as you can add a curves effect and you can play around with different values over here to get more out of this texture. All right, so if you go back to your main comp and uh, we have our logo placeholder over here, we'll just get rid of this and replace it with our logo texture comp, put it at the top and we can just go to transform and scale it down a little. All right, that is looking good. Now you can turn this logo texture into 3D plane. Click on yes to add a camera. I'm going to move forward to one second in time, go to logo texture, expand it and create a keyframe on position. And we'll just go back 10 frames and change the position and just bring it closer to the camera and it should just disappear from the scene and if you scrub through the timeline you'll have an animation like this right that's looking good now you can select these two keyframes Can the keyframes to manual bezier and also you can maybe create a graph like this right so it will be quite quick like so now the next thing you can do is you can apply the or add the smoke explosion footage i'm going to put it under the logo texture layer and this is how it is going to look. You can right click on it, go to blend and set that to lighten. And you can just place it right where our keyframe ends, which is at one second. And I'm going to make sure that our smoke starts appearing from that frame. So like so. Maybe I'll just drag it forward two frames so that it's a little bit quick. Yeah, that is looking much better. Now you can go ahead and reduce its opacity if you want to do so. All right, so next thing we're going to do is add some drop shadow to our logo. So I'm going to duplicate this logo texture, control D to duplicate, bring it under the comp, the logo texture main comp. I'm going to rename this to shadow. In the effects, I'm going to search for drop shadow effect, apply it on the layer. And you can just zoom in and see what's going on. I'm going to increase the opacity. And I'm going to increase the distance a little bit. And now I can just duplicate the drop shadow to create more copies. But when I do that, uh, we have some weird issues inside HeadFilm. You can see that we have another logo over here. I don't know why that happens. So instead, what we're going to do is we'll just duplicate this logo shadow layer. Control D to duplicate. Drag it down and you can go to effects drop shadow and increase the distance and increase the pin number of value like so and do it one more time we have another shadow layer 
go to effects drop shadow bring down the distance and increase the penumbra value all right so this will be our last shadow so take a look at it this is how it is going to look kind of adds a bit more detail to the logo all right now what you can do is uh, we can add some particle dust let's bring it and put it at the top right click on it go to blend and set that to screen now as you can see we have our particles but uh, we have some issues with this footage you can see that the colors appear we have this matte color going on inside our animation and to fix this we can add in a levels histogram effect to this and expand the levels histogram and just drag this black slider under this peak over here and that way you will get rid of that color all right so now if you take a look at it this is what we have so far now we can add a grade layer and we're going to call this shake and we'll just add that effect called shake and just keyframe the amount so add one second create a keyframe on amount go back a couple of frames set that to zero and move uh, i guess 10 or 15 frames forward and set this back to zero so we have a shake and then it just slows down at the end all right that's looking good right now what you can do is we can animate our camera a little bit so let's turn all of these layers into 3d such as the particle dust and the smoke explosion and as well as the background go to the very first frame expand the camera go to transform create a keyframe on position go to the end and just zoom out like so right simple zoom out animation now what we can do is we can create a fade out animation now instead of animating the opacity uh, we can create a much better looking fade out animation so since we have this grid layer over here we can apply levels histogram effect on this grid layer and uh, we can animate the input black to create our fade out animation so i'm going to go to uh, in between three to four seconds create a keyframe on input black go to the last frame and just change that and increase that value and you can see that we have this nice fade out animation and if we take a look at it now there we have it so that's how easy it is to create a intro animation inside of hit film if this video is helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one